Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today we're going to unbox the latest Hiya 11B. So this is a 3-in-1 laptop and this is given to me on a scholarship basis. And this is a part of Pakistan's youth initiative uh, scheme which is run by, under the Prime Minister of Pakistan. And this is given to the students who get scholarship or high grades in their high, high school or in their university. So today we're going to unbox this and we will see what we get in the box. And I also get a laptop uh, with it which is a part of its accessories so it was previously planned that we will get an evo wireless device as well with a six month subscription for free internet but i think they just dropped it at the moment and we are just given these laptops so let's unbox this and see what we get inside the box so this is the box from the front and here's from the top from the back and right here the specifications are mentioned quite clearly you can see that so it's a 4 gb 32 gb ssd and 500 gb uh, hard drive and the intel core my 5y 10c so this is the specs so let's place it down and open it so here's the seal and i'll try to remove the seal with my bare hands and here it goes so just remove the seal and let's place it here and let's open the box. Oops, I think it's like this way. So let's open this. Ta-da. So you got all the manual and stuff inside and this is how to detach your laptop from its make for making it a tablet and stuff and I will place it here and oh this is the two part laptop and you can see it so let's place it here first and see what we get in the box and this is the manual it came I think it's the warranty card and stuff let's see what's this Yes, it's a warranty card from higher computers and this is a sticker or something, qualified uh, stuff, um, book, a silicone box or a packet you can say and this is most probably the charger, let's see the charger, oh yes, this is the power supply cable and this is the power supply it's 12 volts and 2.5 ampere that's quite low for our tablets because it's using an Intel M processor that's why it's using so less power so let's play the box aside and see what we get what kind of laptop it's this so it's basically you can see it's a uh, it's not just like a normal laptop it got some packaging it got packaging which tells that it's given on the Prime Minister scheme, Prime Minister laptop scheme, initiated by Mohammad Nawaz Sharif. So this is the basic powerhouse and the tablet which powers the whole computer. So it's a two in one and it got a camera at the back, a camera at the front. Uh, I read that the front camera is eight megapixel and the back camera is two megapixel or vice versa. So let's place it here. And let's see what we get in this box. And here is a suggestion. Oh, come on. Here is a suggestion that use the product in an external environment to bridge. Oh, come on. Here is a suggestion that use the product in an external environment to bridge. Insert adapter info in the right jacket as marked. All right, we know that. So this is the, uh, what you can say, it got the hard drive inside it and also that keys, oh look at this, one key was already out. This is the hard drive area and the keyboard area. Uh, I don't know, it got the back, I don't know. And this is the main CPU, battery and ROM, SSD area. So let's turn this on. I don't know if it got battery in it or not, but let's see. So I think we'll have to charge it first. 
to turn it on because it's completely dead right at the moment. And it's not going to turn on without a charge. So let's charge the tablet first and let's see what we get inside it. So I just brought the charger and let's plug it in the right port because as they mentioned it, so here it goes. And I just plugged in the charger and see if we get the display. The red light is on now and you can see that. Oh, come on, focus boy. Let me close up and here it focused. So meanwhile it gets charged. We can see what ports and buttons are given around it. So this is the power button and the volume rockers. And here is the speaker, I think. This is the speaker. The warranty seal. And this is a Mac, uh, this is a uh, keyboard holder and the connector which connects the keyboard and the hard drive. So this is the headphone jack area and this is the micro HDMI or you can say mini HDMI. USB 3.0 and this is a Samsung style USB 3.0. It's not a, like pop up pixel USB 3.0. And this is a memory card reader and a SIM slot as well. So here's a SIM slot inside it as well. And this is the charging area and this small thing is the microphone for the tablet, the built-in microphone. So let's turn it on. I think it will be have charged quite a bit. So it's charging a lot before turning on for the first time. So we'll put it on the charger. Oh yes, we got the display. There was something on it. And the screen is quite reflective. You can see it's like it's reflecting quite a lot. It's kind of really glossy, which is not a good thing at all. And it's turning on and it's taking years to load. Oh my god. So I will fast forward this. So we have just booted into the Windows now, and here are some choices. I think it's a just a normal 1366 into 76. 760 display and it's not a full HD as you can see the pixelation on the screen so I thought it was gonna be a full full HD display but you never get the best things for free use express settings and it's still doing so much loadings well, I hate the reflective index of the display to be honest so it's gonna use this PC obviously me Ibrahim Muslim enter the secret password so I'm gonna enter the secret password in front of you all so you can hack my system anytime you want oh come on I don't need any hints So the display is quite responsive to be honest, it's not so, such laggy, I previously thought because of the Intel MCPU but it's quite kind of snappier, at least until now it's snappier, I don't know what it's gonna respond, when it's gonna be under load or something. And so many loadings, the system got heated up from this side, this battery area or you can say the, it might be CPU here and the rest is cold there might be uh, some battery placed here on the t uh, on the left side of the system that's why it's kind of heated up and it go oh come on go back so I got the screen rotation on and I don't know why it's taking so much time lots of great features to get excited about I'll give it the rest and you can see it's mentioned the model number of the system and ta-da we just put it into the windows 10 operating system and the time is not accurate at the moment and let's see how responsive it is let's open this and let's go to the this pc so the basic story is of 28 gb and the bluetooth file transfer stuff we're gonna open it and screen is kind of responsive it's not that bad and that's attached the lower body the keyboard area to the tablet 
So I just closed up and let's connect it to the lower area, which is the tab, uh, which is the keyboard area, and that's quite snappy. It, it automatically, I think there's a magnetic system or something because it just, when I moved it closer, it automatically snatched it, like it's grabbed it inside, or you can say it, it pulled it towards itself. So it's the USB port as well and a 12 volt input. Let's open it. Oh God. So let's kind of zoom out. And this is the laptop from the top and let's see it from the front as well. And this is the laptop from the front. And you can see how much reflective the display is to the environment. And it's, it's so much glossy that even in the room light, it's reflecting so much and let's enter the password and the touch is kind of gray the trackpad is smooth and sweet and let's go to the system and check the system specs and here you can see oh my god it's just 0 0.8 to 1 gigahertz intel core amp processor which is extremely energy efficient and runs about at 2.5 volts and it's 4 gb ram 64 bit operating system and phone number is higher health Line. actually there is a higher helpline as well and because you can insert a full sim inside I have to check this, that settings as well and it would be great if I can insert a sim and on that sim I can turn on the internet so that's all for the review of this Hiwi 11B 3-in-1 laptop and thanks for watching guys hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and for more such videos please like share and subscribe it's the right button right in the video and if you want more details about this laptop let me know in the comments below and if you want me to review any other laptop or mobile phone or any other device let me know in the comments below and that's all for this video once again thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care Allah Hafiz